Wow, I'm impressed. I kind of yeah. want to sign up for this. Yeah. Why like, not find? Why in the world would you not want to find good whiskey that you enjoy without having to buy full bottles? Well, that's of it? the thing is we have a channel where we do that, but I kind of want us to sign up for it and do it. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, sign up. Let's go. Okay. Use code Aaron. <laughs> Welcome to the channel, bringing a real world perspective to the real world whiskey consumer. I'm Josh. And I'm Aaron. And we are back with another topical video. We'd like to start conversations with you guys. However, this one is going to be a little bit different because Blind Barrels is sponsoring this video. And Blind Barrels, if you don't know, is an at home delivery, very cool blind tasting kit with yes. some incredibly good packaging. So you get yeah. this cool little package. You got the piece of paper in here. You got a QR code on the back for the reveal. You've got all kinds of tasting notes. This is an incredibly thorough tasting notes thing. Like mm. one of the best I've seen in the business. Maybe I should use it. Yeah. And then you've got your samples in here, which we have already Can poured you see that? Can into you flights. Show it? Yeah. That looks really cool. Like he opened that box. I was like, oh, that's really nice packaging. <laughs> yeah. So Blind Barrels is a very cool company. And since we do everything blind over here, we thought it was a fantastic product to be servicing us, our community, you guys. So yeah, we want to introduce you guys to them because you guys know blind tastings are all about taking away the bias, learning what you really like, mm -hmm. discovering new whiskeys. It's always a ton of fun. Absolutely. And we think drinking whiskey blind is the best way to drink whiskey Yes, absolutely. because it does all those things that Josh just said, yeah. removes the bias, gets rid of the hype, helps you fight FOMO, fear of missing out. And it actually helps you hone in your taste and figure out what you really like outside of what people say you should like or what social media says you should like. So we think blind tastings is the way to go. Yeah, absolutely. And blind barrels, which we have the flights poured up here already. Yeah. You know, their thing is they're a small company supporting other small companies. Mm -hmm. So this is a great way to it's find awesome. craft whiskey. You know, they're going through and figuring out what they feel is good. And then you just subscribe to their service. You get that kit. This is released. Is it a monthly kit? It's a quarterly kit. Okay. So you get it every quarter. Okay. This is the one from March. This was release number five. So release number six is actually happening right now here in June. Okay. When you're seeing this video. But yeah, this is going to be a fun flight to work yeah. through. We'll scan the QR code at the end. We're going to run through these, tell you what we think about them. Maybe wager some guesses if we so choose to. I will not any, be wagering guesses. If anything is jumping out to us. And yeah, we'll see in the end what's what. Okay. Let's go in the nose. Last one. Oh, this is very alcohol forward. Really? I'm not getting that at all. I think maybe I stuck my nose too far down or something. Yeah, I think so. I'm getting just like a really nice caramel corn sweetness on this. Like, you know, the, the holiday tins with the mm -hmm. caramel corn in it. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm getting on the nose. I here. can see that. Now that I've kind of backed off a little bit, I can see that. Yeah. Interesting. Let's get on the palate. I think you just subliminally messaged me in my brain because I taste caramel corn. Yeah. No, that's exactly <laughs> what it is on the palate. And it's interesting because it hits with the caramel corn sweetness up front. And then in the middle of the palate, some of the wood comes through mm -hmm. a little bit brighter. Mm -hmm. And then it kind of shifts gears into the finish with more caramel corn on the backside. I'm not getting that on the backside, but I definitely yeah. got it up front. And I got the wood like in the middle pat in the mid palate. Really? Yeah. Okay. Man, that's very interesting. So we do know Blind Barrels is pretty upfront about the fact that pretty much everything they do is craft whiskey. Mm -hmm. So the problem with me with craft whiskey is I never know what to get and I don't want to spend all the money on a bottle of craft whiskey. You, know, you don't know if you're going to like it. Yeah, it could be a total waste. So yeah. I would much rather have fun doing a blind flight, you know, taking my time, tasting, really focusing on what's in front of me. Mm -hmm. And then when I find something I really like, I do know just from what I know about blind barrels, when we scan that QR code for the reveal, we're going to find out what we've been drinking and it's going to have direct links to the bottles that you can buy. Oh, and that's helpful. If you like one of the bottles and want to buy it, it's the same price or less than if you were at the distillery yourself. And some of them are even single barrels that only blind barrels have access to. Oh, that's cool. So if you like that, that's so a cool if you have this in, a, in like let's say this is a single barrel, we can get this exact single barrel. Yeah. Ooh, that's cool. Yeah. I let's like get that. glass B on the nose. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. That smells weird to me. I like it. It smells earthy. <laughs> Dang God, I knew you would. <laughs> It smells like dirt and grass and more dirt. It's got this like cleaner, like leather cleaner note to yeah. it to me. I have some leather cleaner from Zeno that is, it smells awesome, but it smells awesome in the way that leather cleaner gotcha. smells awesome. Not, I like it. This smells earthy. And you know what? For as much as I love 
earthy smelling whiskey, you'd think I'd be an out, so outdoorsy type of girl. Yeah. But I'm well, definitely you're, not. You're allergic to the outside. I'm allergic to the outside. You're, you're a house cat. Yeah. <laughs> no, but literally I am allergic to most trees, grass, weeds. I'm also allergic to some of the inside too, like dust mites. Yeah. Mold. Thanks for coming to Aaron's diary entry today. There you go. Dear <laughs> right. diary. This smells like leather cleaner to me. You love it. Let's get it on the palate. Okay. Okay. It tastes like it smells earthy. Yeah, it tastes better than it smells to me. I like it. It doesn't quite have that like cleaner, that like chemical cleaner smell to it. I can see how somebody would like this. It's not my cup of tea. I wonder if that's a rye. I don't know. It's it different. Has some, it has some bourbony sweetness, but not nearly the sweetness that glass one had. Agreed. Glass one definitely was way more Agreed. like caramel sweet. Like yep. I like, that's definitely more earthy. Like you it's like. It's like way earthy though. I think that's the earthiest pour I've ever had. Yeah. All right. I kind of dig it. Let's get into glass three on the nose. Okay. The cut, by the way, the color on the <laughs> Also, glass. I just smelled glass three ba barely and it smelled like maple syrup. Oh. Yeah, this smells good. So I would, I don't know prices. We don't know prices here, but glass one, I would, wouldn't mind having a bottle of that. Glass two, I'm kind of good to pass on that. I could pass two. This, I like it though. This right here on the nose is very promising. I might have to have a bottle of this. This is quite delicious. While I don't like sweet whiskeys just for the sake of being sweet, if they're sweet with a purpose and they have other flavors anchoring that sweetness, I can get behind that yeah. 100%. Yeah. And this smells like it might be that way. So let's taste it and yeah. see. This is like, I have a picture in my mind of a plate of pancakes with maple syrup, with maple syrup mm -hmm. and butter and some link sausages. Mm -hmm. And I'm eating it in yep. the log cabin. Yes, I get all of that. All right, on the palate. Oh, whoa, it tastes different. It tastes earthy. It has an earthy. Hey, girl. Oh no, see, this is this might be our Goldilocks here. Or wait, what's it called? Who's the porridge girl? Yeah. Goldilocks. Okay. Who's <laughs> the porridge girl? <laughs> <laughs> but this right here, it has everything on the nose that transfers to the palate, but it's all the sweetness is tempered. Yeah. The sweetness is tempered down. It's still this. there. The wood is laced in so nicely. This is the most balanced pour of the three so far. This is It's the most really flavorful good. pour of the three, I, I think. I think I might have fallen in love. Sorry, Josh. This is good. I like this. Yeah, I, gotta take I want one more. <laughs> oh my gosh. I want Man, this. It's got a good finish If it's not it. expensive, I say we buy this, whatever this is. Man, yeah, that's good. See, now here's the problem with blind barrels. If you love it, then you gotta spend even more money because <laughs> you're buying other stuff. But the benefit here is that you're finding things that you actually really like. You've actually tasted them already. Yeah. You know you like them, which, you know, over here on our channel, we have a lot of blind tastings, mm -hmm. but we have built out these pools with all these keyed samples and it's it's a whole process. Right. And I get that not everybody wants to go through that whole thing. You just have this delivered to your door. Yeah. And this would be, a, if your significant other is into whiskey, but you don't have the capacity to do the blind tastings, yeah. this would be a great date night thing yeah. or do it with friends. Like this is like a activity. Like, yeah. you know how people say spend more on activities than things. Yeah. This is an activity. And then you can also get some things. And there's enough in the samples that you get from yeah. blind barrels that, I mean, we poured Here's, two and that's a full one, but we poured yeah. enough for each of ourselves here. Mm -hmm. And we have we enough have for left. definitely one or two more people to join in on it mm -hmm. or have more for us to enjoy later. Yeah. So there's that. Let's get D on the nose. Okay. Okay. Coming off of C, this is smelling fainter, it's, quite a bit fainter. It smells sweet. It does smell sweet. It smells really sweet. It smells really classy bourbon sweet. Caramel, vanilla, oak, a little getting, vanilla heavy. I'm getting candy sweet. Are you? Almost like Mike and Ike's, like oh. traditional Mike and Ike's. I don't know if I know what those smell like or taste oh, like. I just had a whole box of them the other day because someone sent them in a package. I could go with like a cream saver sweetness, but no fruit. Do, are all cream savers fruity? I think so. Okay. But like there's a uh, kind of a creaminess to mm -hmm. it, which is what this smells like. It's like a creamy vanilla. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm, and I can oak. see that. All right, palette. Oh man, that's good too. This is good. I'm it's, surprised you like this. It's really sweet. It is sweet, but it's effervescent. Yeah, it's got some spice to it. Which I kind of like because that kind something like that will counterbalance the sweetness for me, would make it just less sugary sweet feeling. Yeah. All right, we're gonna spend some time with these. Yeah. We're gonna get some rankings together. We're probably going to differ quite a bit based on, Maybe. I think, the first time through, at least on one pour, <laughs> class B. Yeah, no, that's fair. Yeah. That's fair. But we're going to run through that. We'll be right back. We're back. Yeah. This was quite interesting. It was. Things changed a little bit for you. A little so bit. So not too much. 
No, not too much. Yeah. But I will say my middle two of the flight could change on any day on the place that they're in. And I'm pretty firm on my flight. I think I would rank this this way every single time I tasted it. Mm. I will say we're going to get out the little card and do the QR code mm -hmm. thing in a minute. But Shoot, it does say while going through the lineup the first time, take notes on each sample's flavor, which you saw here in real time. And then take a guess at the mash bill. Is it a bourbon rye or something else? I would bet all of these are bourbons except number two, which I think might be a rye. Okay. Sample B may be a rye. We're going to open up the... Wait, should we tell our rankings first? Well, I'm going to get this going. So it's it's pulling up right now. Okay. So where are you at on glass A? So glass A is my last place. Okay. That's my third place. Did okay. you have any additional notes about it? I did not. It was okay. not my favorite. When I taste craft bourbon, this is the flavor profile I expect to get, except it's done really well. It is so done really well. Kudos to Blind Barrels for picking out a good craft bourbon. Mm -hmm. Happy with that. It don't does taste craft though. I don't have to have a bottle of this one. I probably wouldn't get a bottle of this mm -hmm. one, but I'm glad I got to try it. Let's move on to glass B. Where okay. is that for so you? So currently it's in my in second place, but it could be third place on another day, just depending on the mood I'm in. It's definitely a mood pour. Yeah. I'm all the way out on B. It's not, that's fair. It's not for me. It would be, yeah. That's not for me. And that's good to know because I could have gone and bought a bottle of that in a store mm -hmm. and then ended up with a bottle that I didn't enjoy. So yeah. Blind Barrel saved me some money right here. Yep. Let's go on to glass C. Where glass, are you at? Glass C is my first place. Okay. I love it. It's actually my second place. I know. I saw that. I was kind of shocked. Once I went to D, which is my first place and your third place. No. Yeah. My third place, yeah. but it could be second. It could, it yeah. could flip up with glass B. But once I went to D, man, the brown sugar and the vanilla in glass D smell so good. I don't even, I would be, I'm stunned it's craft. Mm -hmm. Like I, I'm at a okay. loss for words almost. It to me smells like, smells and tastes like something like Old Forester 1920. But without the banana and the cherry, Interesting. it's okay. just brown sugar and vanilla, and it's got punch and the finish sticks around. Glass, I can see that. Glass D is really good. I think for me, what dinged it was it was a little sharp. Okay. And I didn't appreciate that. That's fair. That's fair. All right. Let's see okay. what, what the got? reveal is. What are we working with? So click to reveal. This is pretty cool. Like you get a little, if, you can if see we can it. do the thing. Who knows if it'll focus. We can't tell. So you get to click to reveal the sample. Sample A is Devil's Creek Distillery Bourbon. Wow. Okay. It feels I like I will have never heard of any of these. It feels like I've heard something about Devil's Creek before, but yeah. it may be something different. Very, very interesting. So, okay. Very interesting. Cool. That was your third place, my. No, my fourth place. Your fourth place, my third place. All right. Sample B, which was my last place, your. My second place, second place. or third place, depending on the day. Oh, wow. This was, this was Frey Ranch. Frey Ranch straight bourbon whiskey. I have heard of Frey Ranch before. Frey Ranch. Okay. So it's kind of, now that I'm smelling it, it's got like a floor, like a florality to it. I'm just getting sweet mother earth. And the thing about for, uh, Frey Ranch is they choose to highlight the grain. Mm -hmm. And that's they what do. I'm, that's what I'm getting. It's yeah. got, it's got some like, uh, is this a four grain? I would be stunned if it's not four slow grown grains. Yeah. So you get like some breadiness, some, yep. some like yeast, not yeastiness, but like weediness to mm -hmm. it. So yeah. Wow. Super interesting. That's cool. All right. What's the straight, it's the straight bourbon. Yep. Okay. My second place, your first place is sample C, which is a Southern star Paracon single barrel cash strength weeded straight bourbon. Shut the front door. You found a weeder you like. I found a weeder that I love. Go I on would, ahead, Brian I, I said I would, I fell in love with this. I told you goodbye. This is North Carolina. Wow. Okay. We got to find out how much this costs and if we can get a bottle. Okay. This is, this is one of the coolest things. Yeah. I mean, we literally can click buy now right there on the screen. <gasps> so that's so cool that like yeah. we, first off, neither of us particularly love weeded bourbon. No. So I then usually detest weeded bourbons. Right. So to then find one that we really enjoy, that is a. That's very cool. That's a big two testament. thumbs up to whatever the distillery was that you clicked out of. Uh, Southern, Southern Star. Southern Star. Two thumbs up. Good job, Southern Star. Good job, Blind Barrels, for sourcing that. And then sample D, which was my favorite, and we are going to buy a lot of those. And this. it was my third place today. Could have been my second place tomorrow. You know, it just depends on the day. Ah, that makes sense. This is Obtanium Canadian whiskey, oh. and this is the oldest whiskey that has ever been in our lineup, and it may stay that way. It's also our first hazmat. It's a 26 year old. No way. It's not one, hazmat. One, it tastes so light. 151 proof. That's fake news. I don't believe it. 100% corn light whiskey. Whoa. Wow. I'm shook. 
<laughs> it, this is dangerous, y'all, because it does not taste or seem like hazmat. Man. Not this, at all. This is so good. And we can buy that exact bottle from Blind Barrels because you just click the buy now button. We it takes you right We might to have it. to have two bottles purchased today. Yeah, I mean, we'll save on shipping. So, wow, this was a lot of fun. Again, we think blinds are the best way to taste whiskey. Mm -hmm. That's literally what our entire channel is based upon. I have to say they are also the most fun way. It's also the most fun way it's to the taste. Most, it's the most fun way. It's even more fun when you can share it with friends, whether it be, you know, your friends, your significant other, whatever like that. Definitely check out Blind Barrels. Use code Aaron. Me? Yeah, you. Use code Aaron. Did you and, pick that? And the link is in the video <laughs> description below. I didn't know that. To get a discount on your order. Oh, sweet. 10% off your whole order. We're sweet. gonna use it too. We can <laughs> use it too. To order some I don't know. No, we'll we'll just We're buy gonna them. try it. We'll just buy them. They're no, supporting no. us. We're gonna support them. If you guys wanna support the people that support us, check that out in the video description yep. below. It's here on the screen. Code Aaron. Get you 10% off try you some whiskey man you i will, love a good discount y'all so that's perfect you will not be getting this box this box was from march, march. you're gonna be getting the new june box so it's gonna be a lot of fun who knows what's in it i'm sure it's gonna be a blast you yeah. might find something you love you might find two bottles you love so yeah who knows thanks blind barrels for sponsoring yeah. this thank you guys for watching if you like this video like it think about subscribing because we do tons of stuff blind over here. Mm -hmm. So if you like this, you're going to love a lot of our other videos. Absolutely. And hit that bell down there to join us for a pour on one of our live streams. We'd love to have you. We would. And that's it for today. Be good to each other. And until next time. This is Cheers. Hazmat. <laughs> Cheers.